2006, we had Hurricane Ernesto. That was definitely the low light. Uh, that was a really tough one. Well, the first concern was to whether to start the race or not. And we were uh, monitoring the weather very closely in close contact with commanders, looking at the internet, looking at weather maps. And we knew it was going to be rough. We didn't think it was going to be as rough as it was. When we got out to the start about I think 28 out of the 56 entries showed up at the starting line. It's blowing about 30 from the east. By the time we got out the gut the next morning, we didn't know it, but we're one of only three boats left in the race. It was starting to get dark, and the weather report all of a sudden changed that the uh, hurricane was actually going to be there later than earlier. And the boat was doing great, but my crew was starting to sort of already kind of get fatigued and wet. And so we decided to turn back. It, it was constantly building breeze from about 28 to 30 knots Friday afternoon. And by the time we got to the tower Saturday evening at dark, it was blowing 50 to 60. And at that point, Blue Yankee, the big boat, was actually uh, arriving near the finish line with 50 to 60 on our stern. But being small, we were still beating to the tower. And uh, the waves were probably 15 feet, kind of breaking on board the boat. We lasted probably 40 or 50 miles and we're just getting you know, pounded and we shredded a couple of sails and a couple of our guys got sick and uh, we had to drop the uh, main because we had torn the reef point out and I was like, okay, <laughs> there's, there's time for, for fighting and time to get out and that was time to get out. There were so many places that, that they could bail out and, the ri and since it was a northeaster, the, the ride home would be pretty easy compared to the ride out. You know, I want to have fun out there and I don't usually withdraw from a race very easily, but uh, at that time I realized, uh, you know, safety was a little bit more paramount. And, uh, I had uh, three juniors on board, their first vineyard race actually, and uh, it was a, quite an introduction to uh, overnight distance racing for them. So uh, The scariest one was in uh, 2006 when we had the remnants of uh, Hurricane Ernesto, and we had uh, over 50 knots in that race. We actually finished the race under storm jib and storm trysail inside the break wall. We were the third boat to finish, the last out of three. Uh, we were the only little boat to finish. But the crew was fantastic, the boat was great, and for us, it was the experience of a lifetime to sail in hurricane conditions, but with ports of refuge not far away if we needed them. In retrospect, and I'm, I'm pleased to be able to say this, no, nobody got seriously hurt. There were a few minor injuries. Those who were injured were still happy that they did the race. And so I think it was a great success. Well, it was exciting for us. And the, the thing that, that amazed me when we, when we got ashore and looked at the devastation on shore, we realized how bad a storm it was. Out on the water, it's just water uh, flying at you, no solid objects. But on land, it was really a lot of destruction. Mm -hmm. 